don't know why we have a whole podcast. Hold on. You ready for this intro? Let's get into this intro. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Wine After Wines. This is your girl, Janae. And this is Naja. And we're here with the giggles. <laughs> hey! It doesn't know how you do the dance. <laughs> how are y'all doing today? We hope you are finding some type of ray of sunshine in 2020 because things... Send it my way. If y'all are have. not looking up. Or maybe they are. <laughs> 2020 is hell. That's all I gotta say. I mean, I'm happy to be alive, but gee. 2020 has not been the best friend that I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Let's just put that out there. Um, but you know, oh, mm-hmm. speaking of 2020 and gifts that 2020 has been bringing, or the gifts that 2020 have brought and or taken away from us, mm-hmm. this is something we both have in common, Naja. What? We were furloughed from our jobs. Do you remember that? It's been about six months. I don't know. <laughs> kind of vague, but I remember it a little bit. You used to work. You know, we only were receiving a paycheck uh, from a from a company, um, and that mm-hmm. stopped. So uh, re- recently, we just got a call back from our jobs, and guess what they said? Drum roll, please. <laughs> We're back. Yeah, I'm back at work. <laughs> I don't want to go back. I started two weeks. Get it together. <sighs> so, actually, we'll be starting our jobs this week. Yes, this week. Um, on Tuesday, actually. Get excited. Yeah. Hmm. Moment of silence. What's your excited face look like to work? Can you see it? I'm Can smiling. Yeah, it hurt. It hurt. I am, but I I guess I am a little happy that it, you know, we are back. Um, Not happy that we're back, but that I have a job, I guess you can say. I've been trying to get my energy together this whole time because I'm a firm believer in, like, you know, don't put bad stuff out there. Because what you say is what you get. Like, I believe that. And my behind has been, like, not saying much. Just put it that way. <laughs> put it out there the way she, she want to. Because I don't want to say, I don't want to say the wrong things. All, I, all I'm, because in my head, you know, the battle is in my mind at this point. Because in my head, I'm like, whew. But I'm like, Janae, get your thoughts together, get like get get it together. Some people not working for real. Some people don't have a job. Some people are struggling. You have been blessed. Mm-hmm. I'm grateful. Very, very grateful. But I'm not gonna lie to you when I say there's a little bit of anxiety just trying to creep up in that thing because I was already coming like unraveled prior to mm-hmm. the pandemic. Right, right. We just was a little on the fed up side a little bit, I guess you can say. Um, I know me personally, I've always wanted to do something else, but you know, been keeping food on the table, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you We're can see back that. in corporate America, people. Yeah. I on. gotta get my like <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> just <laughs> moving on. Repeat that. Um <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I have to like get like I ca- I gotta make sure that I'm not in like podcast mode when I'm on the phone with these clients. Right, hey, right. I haven't had to talk professionally <laughs> to people in a while, or on our Zoom calls with <laughs> with the whole company. We in there like, <laughs> hello. Yeah, sitting in Zoom meetings like this. Don't play, cause I will be. The <laughs> I will be. Here, sit down. You know what one plus two is. I promise you that's going to be me. <laughs> I'm hungry. You know, I ate 12 times already. Exactly. This is the thing. 
I don't really know how balancing, um, we'll be working from home, but I don't know how we'll be balancing working from home plus trying to homeschool and trying, just, just trying to maintain sanity. Um, mm-hmm. Like, I don't really know what that looks like for us. So mm-hmm. if y'all pray, pray for us because look, yeah, for- I don't have a clue. Oh, you and me both. Uh, we about to figure it all out together. <sighs> Girl, what's going on in this world? There's so much going on in this so- social circle of ours. <laughs> um, the social circle right now, we're talking about is Brianna Taylor. Why I say her name like that? This is not that type of thing. So listen. Listen, it's been said in so many different ways, but, but we're saying her name, so guys there's uh, so many thoughts that just run through my mind when I think about Breonna Taylor in this case and just this mm-hmm. though like so obviously it's a hot topic right now and it's trending because the verdict um was not what everybody what everybody was looking for um out of this protest and all of this fighting all of this petition and all of this everything that everybody was doing was trying to get justice for Breonna Taylor and um justice was not served in this case um i am not going to say that i'm surprised and or shocked um because i'm not um i mean how many times has this happened you know yeah and then it's like um even in this situation like you said how many times has this happened stuff that ain't even that's not even televised you know what i'm saying not even in the media for people to know so yeah, this type of stuff happens all the time where cops raid wrong houses. I'm not saying that theirs was wrong, but I'm saying they raid the wrong house, shoot in homes and hit innocent people that didn't have anything to do with it. So, um, yeah, this is just, this this one right here is a little different. I guess her mother settled for, she settled for a big amount too, right? Like yeah, a, a large it's like millions, like 10 million, I think. I think, well, not something like that. I think I want to say that because then I also kept seeing memes about like, would you slap your daddy for nine million dollars? And I was like, Corey, come here. <laughs> right, come on, Ronnie. Let me, let me. Pop. And he'll probably slap me for not slapping him to get nine million dollars. Right, I, I definitely know my dad. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I just with this case, y'all. I'm just not surprised. There are a lot of things going on. A lot of, um, like you said, um, how this has happened plenty of times. And not even just like in this case, I saw like two separate incidents. Like one incident I saw that was like caught on this man's security camera where he was, um, the police burst, uh, like barged into his home Mm -hmm. and he had just got out the shower or something like that. So he didn't even have on no clothes or something and, and all of that. And then they handcuffed the man and he out like he ain't got on no like he was like, What y'all coming in here for? Like it was just weird. And then I saw something about this lady, she was on her period and they pulled her out and she didn't have on nothing because she they, she was at she was at home. No, no, no. It was her that was in the shower and she was on her period or something like that. And they handcuffed her, but she just like had on I guess they end up putting on a robe or something, but she was like, I'm on my cycle. They dragged the lady through the grass and all kind of stuff, girl. Yeah, but anyway. No, I haven't heard about that. I, I, yes. you know, I it's like so much stuff that just be happening and that doesn't really get like justice. Like, you know, it's- uh, Somebody it's, who don't have justice and didn't, their case didn't blow up the way it should have was the Kendrick uh, Johnson case. Um, the little guy. Yes, the the guy who was rolled up in the um oh the, no that guy yeah man yeah that now that case that's the case that got to me that's the case that needs justice if anything that needs justice I don't even think his parents got any type of settlement either if there's nothing um that's a whole different thing I'm not saying that it outweighs Breonna Taylor because you know that's a whole different situation but I'm saying hey. If they can take that to court, they can take this one above. I'm just tired of it, to be honest. I'm just so tired. tired. So tired. Tired the of talking. Thing is, I just don't want to become numb to it. 
but I'm becoming hard into it and I don't want to like they say try not to like limit your um the time that you spend on stuff like this so that you don't become numb to it but it's like how can you how can you not yeah our 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 um generation is getting well even the upcoming upcoming generations we're just getting tired of it and a lot of them not taking it so yeah it is what it is on that one we just gotta continue to fight and continue to keep your prayers for um, Brianna Taylor's mom and their family. I know she wanted to sell them in and everything, but like we talked about, like no amount of money could ever bring her daughter back. Mm-hmm. And I know it's, I mean, I'm a mom, so you're a mom. So yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it goes out to her mother. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Like, I don't know <laughs> how much money somebody gives me if I, if I don't have my child and like. Can't even share it with them, so. I'm just, I, I just now got some money in the bank. That's it. But uh, we're going to uh, get off that one for a second and uh, go into this Tory Lane's new song. Um, I listened to the song. Uh, I think it's like two of them, guys. It's like, um, let me see, what's the name of it? It was uh, Money Over Fallout. Money Over Fallout, and I believe Sorry I Had two or something like that but it's definitely um (laughs) he's talking to her like you know what really happened Megan and that's not what it is I wasn't there there's always two sides to a story so I don't know and a whole clown (laughs) a whole clown a whole clown Cause like you really could have just handled this totally different. The first time you decide to speak, you gonna drop a, a like a slick diss track. Like he dropped a whole album, Janae. <laughs> he dropped an entire album with multiple songs on about this situation. I believe. Um, I have not listened to all of them, but yeah. I don't plan to. I don't know. I want to know. If there's two sides to it, I don't know. I do always. I, I always like to give a person say a chance to talk because I I don't know. I don't know neither one of them, so I can't say. Yeah, she was right because I mean sometimes we do fall victim as women, but sometimes we don't. I don't know. I don't, I really don't. I honestly, I honestly don't care. I honestly, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying real. to be real. <laughs> Yeah, let me just be 100% honest with you. I really don't give a darn. Mm -hmm. Um, She fine. He fine. I mean, his career might be over. (laughs) But I mean, hell, he got money in the bank. Invest it right. That's all I Maybe he do, maybe he don't at this point. (laughs) At this point. I I mean, and I hate the sounds. Was that like mean? Like, I just. No. Channel, I know that, whole, channel that in there, I don't give a, okay? I don't give one. Like, she good. I mean, you just got a, a ton of money talking about what? Never mind. And, like, so, because people are so curious, and then maybe that's why he did it, you know, because I like to feel like I'm, like, a business savvy type of person. Mm-hmm. And I think, like, maybe he was like, yeah, I'm going to need some, some more coin. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought the same thing. I was like, he gonna make some money off this little... Let me drop an album. He was like, let me get my last look. <laughs> and then I can invest this right. Right, 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 right. So I know a bunch of nosy people are gonna go download it. So I let me, uh... Listen. Let me take a gander. I'm gonna drop this. That was smart. It was a smart business move. I mean... <laughs> It is what it is. So let's move on. Congrats. <laughs> right. I'm like, come on. Cause I really, at this point, I just don't care. I don't care about it. So, um, what? Talk to me. I need you to, uh, speak on this, uh, relationship <laughs> corner. Cause remember, oh, uh, did you ever did I, move watch on? did I move on real quick from the toy, from the toy lines, Megan thing. Goodbye and good night. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> So, our relationship corner had me cracking up with topic this. for today is, okay, so if you guys follow uh, Kev on stage, I love him. He's like my best friend in my head. I love um, him. So, if I ever meet him, I'll probably be like, hey, what's up, Kev? He'll probably be like, who's this girl? Like, I know her. 
And I'm like, nah, we just friends, but it's cool. So um, <laughs> he had, this has been like floating around on social media, but of course he did like a reaction to it. And so it's about this guy who is called, his handle is Apostle Wise Preach. Um, he is a prophet is what he's calling himself. He is, <laughs> and he's looking for a certain criteria in a woman. And I'm going to read to you the criteria, criteria that he's looking for in a woman. And I have a question for Naja after I Ooh, I like questions. You do? No, okay, no. girl, I should ask you more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so he says, I'm looking for a Proverbs 31 wife who must meet this criteria. Let's get into it. Number one, the woman must be Christ-centered. Okay. Okay. Uh, number two, absolutely gorgeous. Not just a little bit gorgeous. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. Number three, she has to be able to sing. Uh, number four, light skin with a stunning smile. That That's not me. Um, between the ages of 22 and 27, absolutely no kids. Loves Jesus more than anything else. Can cook and is tidy. He didn't say clean girl, tidy. It's a whole different level. Um, <laughs> an intercessor is between five feet and five feet four. <laughs> uh, never been married before. Submitted and a great listener. He probably meant submissive, but you know, we'll work on his grammar. We'll work on that later. <laughs> and last but not least, um hospitable and loves jesus christ more than me and he says if that is you submit your application for review and someone will revert at your earliest convenience at our earliest convenience and then he goes and puts a scripture girl about thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the light shall shine upon thy ways job 22 28 do you have what it takes to marry a prophet that's what he put at the end of his statement do you have what it takes to marry this prophet? Hell no. That's okay, not See, out of the 13, you ain't, you, you, <laughs> no, you can't say. <laughs> First of all, that's the one that I was counting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing for y'all in the next show. Between the ages of 22, 27, you got kids, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, not like skin. you've been married and you're still married, so. Listen, first of all, what do you think about this? That's I think not this, my question to you, but what do you think about this? I think this is absolutely horrible. I, I couldn't even come up with a word quick enough to even describe this. First of all, you are this man of God. I'm doing air quotes for our listeners. This man of God who, first of all, you're judging, you're judging a woman on First of all, can she sing? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, come on, th th can she sing? I mean, come on, uh, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I know you want to look her. I will never deny somebody of wanting someone that they're physically attracted to. Yeah. Um, nothing wrong with that. I mean, and then first of all, I need to this age thing. How old is this prophet, first of all? I don't know, but I hope he's uh, between those ages. I do, too. I mean, because that's just, <laughs> that's a little creepy, too. Right. Um, I, 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 first of all, that, I mean, I understand you having your, your what, however you say it, what you want in your woman or what you want in your man, but come on, dude. Now you're just being extra yeah and you call yourself this man of god this prophet and all of this and you want all of this in the woman i mean good luck i hope you find her too i hope you find her i don't know nobody that got all of that off the top of my head but i need him to also be <laughs> one through 13 in man form everything number 14 make good money <laughs> I say that because, I mean, you're asking for right, right. all of this. And I'm not no woman like that, but I'm just like, you better you better come with the bag, too. Right, right. What can you do for me? The This is my thing. 
I know that there have been women out there. There's been movies made about women that have a strict list. Yep, and I have the same response. Mm-hmm. That these that they that they won't date a man if they don't have this 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 or the third. Mm-hmm. So, do you ever remember having like a ridiculous list like in your head? Yeah, when I was about. 18 I did and I'm not gonna lie to you when I was about a good um 18 and I've never been no no uh prophet woman of God type I mean not that I don't love God don't don't get me wrong but I'm I'm, I don't consider myself anything like that I'm not super religious or um anything of that nature but um I am like I I had a list when I was a good what was on your list friend um brown skin nice braids even a fresh cut thing listen i'm not about to say my poem i wrote when i was 16 years old no more that's that's it but that's <laughs> why are you laughing i can't I don't know why, you're laughing. why did you what was it again i ain't saying it no more just press rewind when you listen because <laughs> you you trying to you laughing too hard. in the throat and lean up for me what was that? I was getting ready. I had to clear my skin. Brown skin, light braid. What? Light braids. Nice braids. Get it right. Nice braids. That's when braids was in. Maybe a fade. Or even. Or a even a fade. Okay, because it got a rhyme. Okay. Did you get what you wanted? I mean, <laughs> I don't want that anyway. I like what I got now. Yeah, he, don't, he don't got braids, he got locks all the way down to his behind that I that I wake up with in my face every day. But I love it. <laughs> and trade them for the world. Oh my God. No, I mean, no, I that that list was out the window <laughs> before I went off to college, bro. Like I'm pretty sure I have a list somewhere like written down, probably. Let me tell you how corny I was growing up. So I like to, I uh, so you, you made a face. So you are you trying to say that I'm currently corny? I mean, yeah, but that wasn't why I made that face. I mean, I'm I'm a cornball too. I mean, people tell me all the time. All the time. Okay, that's fine. Anyhow, um, so when I like yeah, I used to write so much. I wrote like poetry. I wrote like little short, like little stories, little plays. I was even writing in the when we worked together in Midtown Girl. Oh yeah, I wrote something for y'all to read. Like I just like to write. I haven't done a lot of that lately, but you know when you get old, child, sometimes they just go out the window. But anyway. I have, I used to write letters to my future husband at a certain point. I did. Like, I have, like, because I always think, I always think, like, back then, I always thought future, like, oh, I kept all my diaries for my future daughter. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, I know I I was going to have a little girl one day, so I want her to, like, see all the little teenage stuff I was going through, right? And so one day, I was just sitting in my room. It was like pink and purple. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I wonder like what my future husband is doing right now. Like that type of thing. And then I'm like, I should write a letter. And so I like wrote like maybe two or three letters. And so I gave them to Drew like maybe, I want to say maybe probably like a year into our marriage or something like that. Cause I had forgot I wrote them. Uh-huh. And um, I found him, and I gave him to him, and his just reaction just wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. Oh gosh, he was just like, "Oh okay." <laughs> and then I was using slang like that term, like whatever slang we was using back then. I think I was, I don't know, maybe baby boy was a thing or something back then, because I think I said something about Beyonce, baby boy, you say, yeah, I'm, I'm like. <laughs> Like some of the slang I was using was just embarrassing. I'm, I should find it and read it on, on our podcast and embarrass Ooh. myself. I have all my diaries too, though. I still I don't I I said I called them journals. I didn't say diaries, but yeah, um, definitely journals. I, 
I had about four books I wrote, but mine wasn't like, it was really literally just writing about my day. I had to get everything out on paper. Like that's, but I wasn't like no writer like you. Like what kind of stuff you wrote about your day? Like today mm-hmm. Johnny looked at me and rolled his eyes and I was mad. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote stuff like that too. That was exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did. I wrote every. I wrote a lot after school. I remember a whole summer. I like documented my whole entire summer. I can't even remember what grade I was in, but I know I did like every day. I would have to update my journal on like who is my current friends, who weren't my current friends, who I don't fill out with, who uh, tried to kiss me the other day, um, uh, what happened. Oh, with this dude, why I ain't talking to him no more? I like, like some dude is trying to get close to me, but I don't know if I want to talk to him. Like stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. We should we should embarrass ourselves and read one one excerpt from each one of our journals. Oh, that would be fun. Let's do it. Let's do it. Keep yeah. up. If we forget, remind us. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Please do, y'all. Because we don't. Know we- Y'all know we count on y'all. We do. We really do. Um, so the more to that story is really your expectations, um, throw them out the window because I've said this before and I'll say it again. Ain't that a rap song? I said this before and I'ma say it again. Since I stuff and y'all oh that was that was something from Bow Wow, like yeah. second album, maybe. I don't know how she is about Bow Wow. Anywho, so what I'm saying is throw your expectations away because not one person is going to meet all your requirements and all of your standards. It's just not going to happen. If you do find somebody, call me and let me know. If you could, if they check off everything on your list, like I want to talk to you because I ain't never experienced nothing like that before. Let me tell you one thing before we move on to, I know people personally who's a good 40, 50 years old, still looking for that, that list. That's all I got to say. They're alone with their dog. <laughs> what their dog name? Pepper. I can't. <laughs> it's not Pepper, but <laughs> that's, that's funny, y'all. <laughs> okay, look, I cannot be doing inside jokes on a podcast because they ain't going to know what we're talking about. So, <laughs> Naja almost bought a dog named Pepper today. So, that's, we'll talk about it later. Until I found out it was $5,000. <laughs> right back behind that window. Pepper got thrown right back behind the cage. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, damn. Bye, Pepper. Okay, moving on. So, <laughs> this tip of the week comes from. Um, an inspiration behind what I told my friend Charity this week or last week, last week, my friend Charity was like, girl, making all kinds of excuses about why she can't, um, why she can't, go, what she was making excuses about. She can't go to the store. She you could, she, she had reasons as to why she pretty, pretty much didn't have nothing to, um, eat healthy. I, I guess you can say. See, now I just try to make it sound cute. She said reasons. I said excuses. So she was making excuses about why she couldn't get to the store and get her meals and all of that or whatever or whatever. So I told her, I said, friend, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And she was like, you right, sis. Because she put the exclamation points over the message. So she was agreeing with what I was putting out. So I was like, okay, cool. So we're on the same wavelength. So that is my tip for y'all this week. Because I know, and not just picking on my friend Charity, but that is the same for me. Mm-hmm. I have to really like tell myself that because even coming up this week, I haven't gone grocery shopping yet. But this ain't got nothing to do with just food and fitness and stuff. But in anything in life, we're about mm-hmm. to start back work this week. So if I'm not prepared for being able to set my kids up and then also set myself up and make sure I'm, you know, I'm on the go and ready to work. Make sure my computer, my work computer still work. Make sure my work printer still work. Make sure like all my stuff together, like you ain't done that yet, but it's cool. 
Um, because I see the look on your face. <laughs> I'm just listening because <laughs> you got stuff to do tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah. if you haven't made sure that like like it's a cliche saying, it's a corny little saying, but it's so true because you have to set yourself up for success. If not, you will fail every single time. And mm-hmm. then you're going to be making up excuses mm-hmm. every single time why you didn't get something done. Like, mm-hmm. I've been meaning to have protein smoothies in the morning. I've been lazy and had went to the store and got no protein. So guess what? I ain't had no protein smoothies. That's on me. I ain't bought that protein yet. See, don't, why are you checking me? I ain't bought the protein. And then I went to the store like five times and still ain't got the protein. It be slipping three, my mind. Three, 12 weeks ago, she ain't had no protein. But, so if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Okay? Go plan to buy that uh, protein tomorrow. I'll put it with my... See, the thing is, I shop at Kroger. And my protein at Publix. <clears throat> so... I think they got it at Kroger now. I think I saw it. My Maybe. protein that I buy? With the green, t- okay. Listen, that's a whole nother <laughs> look at us, yeah. Anyway, yeah, just move right along. If you plan to, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, okay. Period. Here, oh, Drew, girl, we talked about uh, like words this weekend or phrases that we both hate, Is and period Drew one hates, one? period. I think D hates all of that stuff. He don't like wet. He hates. I the- love it. He hates when I say he be like, don't don't talk like that. Drew said the same thing when I say that, but it's yeah. just me being funny. It's not me being serious. See, some people do it and be serious, yeah, and I be doing it because I just be being funny. But um, yeah, he hate that. I forgot what saying I said I hate it because it was something. Dang. That's a good one. I need to. I know D hate that. And at the end of the day, you hate at the end of the day. And I say it all the time. Why? I, Why he don't like that? I think it's so love and hip hop ish. He's just he's D. Interesting. My brother in law don't like that. Um, he don't like that old saying. That's uh like if a it's a country saying. And my daddy say it all the time, so I was I I let I literally laugh for like five minutes because I grew up hearing this. I don't know what when that somebody is. say. So tell me, ask me what's up? Like what's up, Janae? What's up, Janae? Oh, I can't call it. Oh, uh, you know I don't. You can't I, stand that. I, I really never heard it. that until you started saying it. You, I never said I can't call it. You used like you play around and you say it. You said I, don't, I don't think I've ever said that. Yeah. Guys, yes, she has. No, I have not. You don't say it often, but she said it like playing. And I'm like, I've never heard nobody say that before. I can't call it, girl. Mm-hmm. That's the, it's the country saying. And the reason my brother-in-law hated it because he was like, but you didn't answer the question. What can't you call? And I mean, are you calling? Are you saying yes? Like, he was like, like how are you? I can't <laughs> call it. It's not an answer. Like, he, can't, an answer. he can't say like he was heated telling us about it yes. and i'm like i mean it just i mean it's fine for me uh, i i grew up hearing that all my life that's that's okay oh brother-in-law i can't remember what mine was watch like i don't know yeah, at the end of the show yeah at the end of the show it's probably when i'm gonna bust out with it like ah it ain't it ain't period though it ain't that period. oh i know what it is I don't like dead. I don't like that. Dead. Dead. When people are like, oh, dead. Like when they laughing and they think it's funny, oh. they think they dead. You don't like that? I, I hate it. Oh, God. I'd be like, please don't die. Yeah. I guess. Like, Girl, I'm dead. I'd be like, uh uh-uh, uh, don't die. Oh, I think it's uh, okay. I don't you think it's funny. You, I've never heard you say it. No, I put the dead emoji in it. The dead emoji is a little bit, it still means the same thing, but I, I don't like hearing I'm dead. I, 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 can, I can see why you say that too. I can see it's why. Like you me say. and how I am too. I'm like, you keep saying you broke, you broke, you keep saying you dead, you gonna die. Like, that's how, like, that's how, you know, that's how I think in my head. Oh gosh, I'll never say it again. 
you know how I be telling y'all, y'all not broke. Y'all just in between blessings, friend. It's coming. Yes, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how we got on that topic. Oh, that ain't got nothing to do with this. But anyway, I get my locks done tomorrow. Let's give it up for that. I need something done with my hair. Oh, I was about to say period. Oh, no, you don't care about that. I don't care about period. But look, <laughs> even if I do care about it, say it anyway, live in your truth. It don't matter about what I got going on. <laughs> I'm not being dead anymore. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> so moving right along girl okay <clears throat> so my honest moment for today has something to do with like shaming weight shaming fitness shaming shaming and health shaming yes i got loud and yes i got crunk you know why and crunk is what i said because i'm from that era yeah, yeah. okay yeah. little john yeah. okay and then little john um this is what had happened tell me you was there so don't act like you don't know what had happened so we was at style Mason, right and there was a comment made about being <laughs> this fool just put on her glasses about being competitive yes during like fitness like a fitness mm-hmm. competitive thing now, for those of you who don't know me personally, I consider myself a semi-competitive person. I don't really like to lose. I can be a sore loser, but I try not to put that on the outside. I try to be a sore loser within because I don't want to. I just hate. I don't want to lose. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like losing. But I ain't gonna like fight you or cry about it or nothing like that. I'll just be like a little like, uh, you know. But then I'll get over it. But that's besides the point. What had happened was this girl made a comment. And I'm all about vibes and energy and and, and all of that. Mm -hmm. As soon as old girl came up to, this is when we went to go walk Stone Mountain. There's a girl who came into our group um, that we haven't seen before in our group. Um, She does not train with us. um, But she's a part Anyway, that's besides the point. So she came up and um, her vibe was just a little bit off. Do you have anything to add here? I when she first um, came up, her vibe was a little off, but I ignored it, like because she still wasn't rude, you know, like rude um, until we got to that midpoint. And then, like when he told us to get in the circle to start our um, workout. And she was like, oh, we social distancing. Like, yeah, we are, but you came up here with us. So <laughs> you just stayed at home. I understand where you're coming from, but. Yeah, but me. if you had a problem, you probably shouldn't have came. Exactly. Because you knew we were coming to work out. But yeah, no, she had a, she had a bad vibe. She had an off vibe at first. Yes. So I kind of ignored it because of the fact that I have worked out with this person inside of the gym when gyms were open prior so Mm -hmm. i was like okay well maybe i mean that's always been her vibe to be honest but i was just like you know whatever i'm just gonna ignore it because i know some people who kind of like just have like a real strong like something anyway so i was just thinking like you know that's just how she is whatever so going up the mountain coming down it was fine and everything so we came back down a little bit late um because we was on live, taking selfies, filming, like whatever. So we came back down a little bit later and she had already left. But the comment that was made um, was those other girls trained via Zoom. So they won't be able to touch. Like, you know, they they ain't no real, they don't really work out real hard like that for real because they, they, they do fake workouts on Zoom. And she has personal training um, face-to-face, like one-on-one training. Social distancing, but she's social distancing. That's all I got to say. Mm-hmm. So at first I was like, I kind of laughed it off because I was like, oh, she want to do like a competition? Okay. Like I thought I was thinking like maybe like a plank competition or something like that. But when she started going into like when I, the comment that was told to us is kind of like, Oh, no, nah, she just think y'all don't do nothing because y'all be on Zoom. Like, y'all ain't no real, like, y'all don't really be doing nothing for real. Like, 
that just started to like eat me up inside and i wanted to use every two three two every one two three punch uh a uh, box of combination that i had learned um to find her mm -hmm. and it got to me like uh he was mainly talking to janae at first that's why we um that's why we thought it was like she wanted to do like a plank challenge because like Janae's a beast at planks so we was like okay so maybe you know she's trying to do a plank but then he kind of got into it more and then he started saying like our um zoom workouts were fake and me and another girl I ain't gonna say her name because I don't know if she wants us to say her name but she me and her looked at each other like oh. she said what like we be sweating and we work hard and we don't cheat ourselves. Like we actually do these exercises and we work hard. Mm -hmm. um, and we're doing this stuff without equipment. So you're going to a gym where there's equipment and you got like self one-on-one. -on -one. No, we're working a little bit harder because we're doing it ourselves mm -hmm. and we're making ourselves, we're pushing ourselves. And that's a hard thing to do is to push yourself when working out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she, boy, she got all of us. Then Janae, I think it hit Janae like, a little bit later than it hit us because she was like hold on <laughs> what because <laughs> we had already caught it we was like what yeah because i was like because I, can't, I really couldn't believe like this we was having this conversation because i'm like what you already came with a bad with bad vibes and bad energy and stuff and you say something like that and you said it when i wasn't around and that's what pissed me off even more because you could have said that to my face while we was when we was by the time we made it back down, if you felt like that, you could have stuck mm -hmm. around for you could have stuck around until we came back. And our dude Troop was just like, "Oh, I put you know I put money on any of my girls. Like they can they can kill you out here." Da, 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 da. And I'm like, "Oh yeah, when he said that, yeah, 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 he yeah." And I'm like, "Yeah, I appreciate that." But besides the point, the comment shouldn't have been made in the first place. In the first place. The reason, okay, so the reason why this is my honest moment and the reason why I'm bringing it up, I really could give two craps about the girl and the whole thing because I'm over it. But the thing is, um, I felt like it was a slap in the face to the people who are working out, who only can work out via Zoom and that have worked so hard and have made so many so so many transformations from when they first started working out to now like mm -hmm. i feel like that just really just put a damper on somebody else's journey and i don't and that's the part that i don't like i don't like that um i feel like the journey people everybody's weight loss journey was like just brought down because mm -hmm. she was like, oh, y'all don't do nothing, y'all da 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 da. And right. the fact that we're all so many different shapes and sizes, and this girl is like a small, she you would was, say she's um, physically fit. Mm -hmm. So you got people like me, you got Naja, you got Janelle, you got Charity. I don't mean, like, you know. Yeah, no, like, we are all on, we're all on different journeys. We we're are all, all on different, different. journeys. Mm -hmm. And if anything it should have been like oh let me see who can do like you know like let's challenge each other and see who can do the most something 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 like that type of thing not like oh y'all ain't really doing nothing because y'all be working out on zoom okay well you don't see me at home when i be having these weights in my hand i'm about yeah. to like lose it because mm -hmm. i actually be working out mm -hmm. screaming but anywho so the whole point of what I was saying is just guys, this is just, if you're on a fitness journey, don't shame somebody else because you got insecurities yourself. Okay. Because if you're truly insecure with what you got going on, that don't mean that you need to, to look at somebody else and, and try to make that person feel less so you can feel better about yourself. Right. So, I mean, that's all I got to say about it. Because <laughs> I can go on for that one. Because I can use I can use some of these combinations I learned. And That's we don't awesome. do that. You don't want to take it there. Two, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I like I totally get that. <clears throat> We're going to um move on to a little knowledge with Naja. Mine is definitely, um, mine is definitely, 
a flip like of what we've been talking about. So I actually ran upon this um, this little video. Actually, my husband sent it to me. It was a little video um, of a black woman and um, her kids. So she has one biological kid and then she's adopted two other kids. She adopted um, one biracial girl. I believe it was a girl. And then a, a fully white little boy, super cute little boy. Um, and she's doing it all out of her heart, all, all out of love and everything. Um, you never know. You, you, you'd see a lot of, you do see white people adopting black kids. You see that often. Oh, and, wow. and it's kind of like a, a fashion thing for some, to me. It, it might not be, I'm glad these kids have great homes, the ones who do. Um, and you do have some who's out for whatever. But this, in this particular situation, it was a black lady and her husband and they adopted um, a little white boy. And you never, and she never probably expected all the, the prejudice and the races, racism that came from her having a child. Like she caught one thing on, uh, she actually caught a little footage on camera of somebody asking, how do you know him? Are you his teacher? And she's like, N this little boy? No, pretty much this is my son. He's, he is adopted, yes, but this is my son. But she says she deals with people asking, are you the nanny? Um, like she said, are you their teacher? Um, why do you have him? Like, why do you have this little white boy on your hip or whatever? And I just feel like it's, it, you know, it's only, uh, she gave the percentage. I think it's 1% black people will adopt a white child. It's very, very, very low. It's literally 1%, she said. And um, um, the fact that she has to deal with people who don't think that they're prejudiced, but they are against certain things like, like that. And um, she has to, she do have to deal with it. She's getting tired of it, but she, you know, she won't stop. She, she loves her son and the rest of her family. Like she has the one biological, so a fully black child and she has the biracial child. Then she has him. Um, so my whole point of saying this is you don't ever notice, sometimes you don't notice your own prejudice inside of you you really have to you you got to think about what you say before you say it and it's a lot of stuff. like I can go into a whole nother situation that I actually posted about on um on Facebook I did post about it not to go into two different subjects but um I also posted about the CEO of the CEO of Wells Fargo did you hear about what he said recently mm-hmm he, uh, I've been like ghost on everything. What happened? Yeah, he also, this is like, I just don't understand how people come out and say these things, but he said there's no talented black people within his company. I, if you have a Wells Fargo account and you black, withdraw that mess. There's tons of other, wow. ton of other banks out there. There are black owned banks. Um, I know sometimes they're hard to access because they're not around like you're chasing Bank of America's and stuff like that. But and then he came back and apologized. I was like, you can keep that sorry apology. I, 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 don't, I don't care to hear it. I don't. He so, said that there's no talented Black people in his company? Within, within Wells Fargo, yeah. He came back and apologized. You can look on my Facebook. I, I might even actually post it on our Wine After Wines page so you guys can see it wow. on our story so you guys can have a, a, a look at it and see how to get to it. But it's, um, yeah, it's those type of things. You just never know what people are thinking you know what i mean check yourself uh, even you even us as black people we have to check ourselves too but it's so it's almost trans it's starting to get transparent with white people they they're starting to get a little bit some of them are getting scared because of all the protests that are going on but some of them just it's like kkk just coming out don't even care don't even care don't care about what they say who they hurt um or the dumb shit they ooh, oh i'm sorry the dumb stuff <laughs> <laughs> the dumb stuff they say. You apologizing to me or the listeners? <laughs> the listeners. <laughs> Definitely not you. Okay. You've heard me. <laughs> but no, just the dumb stuff you say. So yeah, just 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 watch it. And I know I come with a lot of racism type things when I when I'm speaking on 
with my knowledge with Naja, but I have to get it out there because a lot of people don't know or we miss it because we are parents in um at work and we just don't have time to listen to the news or we miss it just happen to miss it but i try yeah. to catch it. i mean we all like have like prejudices though like we do we definitely do all do mm-hmm. but then we also know how to like shut your mouth sometimes just shut your mouth like i said that ceo of wells fargo shut your mouth Right. If I thought if I said half of the stuff that I'd be thinking, I don't know, I'd probably be in jail. I probably like no friends. No friends, no relationships. Like you can't just say everything that you just be thinking. Everything don't deserve to be said. Just just sit down somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like your grandma used to tell you. Sit down somewhere. Yeah. You doing too much. Doing too much. (laughs) But yes, guys. This has been another amazing episode. <laughs> and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Yes, please remember to follow us on social media. All social media pl- platforms is Wine After Wines. Also, we go on live on Wednesdays. Um, let us know what time work for y'all. Because y'all starting to get on my nerves. You know, but when you do want to come online just to talk to us, like let us know, like what time works best for y'all? Do it work best for like, y'all when y'all just putting the kids in the bed, or while y'all making dinner and can chit chat, or you know what's up? I mean, cause look, I'm gonna start back working this week, so you gonna have to do to work basically, cause I can't do no middle of the day stuff no more, cause I'm, I'm gonna be on the clock, so I can't be. Doing and we that might stuff. even talk about our relationship corner, so. Yeah. Let's see what people might have to say about the prophet and his expectations and his And I wanna know what y'all expectations are. Yeah, don't don't write a poem like I did. No, nah, I wanna hear the poems. But uh yeah, so yes, everybody continue to follow us. Remember we're on YouTube as well and you can catch us on all um social media platforms remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and click your post notification bell so you know every time that we post a new video and like 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 and comment and comment and like and all of that great jazz thank y'all so much for listening we'll see y'all next week bye bye you had to do a dance yep